Hello everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Strife Veteran Edition on Elite. This is Map 11, Borderlands Part 2, and Map 17, Fortress the Bailey. Alright, welcome back to the Borderlands, and yes, once again, that's the Borderlands not on the planet on Pandora, or on the planet Pandora, but rather here in the outskirts of the city of Tarnhill in the game Strife. Well, in our last episode, we talked to the Oracle, we got the Oracle Pass to get the key from the Key Master, which unlocks this here fortress. So, let's see what we got. Oh boy, we have three Templars. Now, uh, one thing I would like to reiterate, even after you get a camouflage, or, you know, uh, camouflage or no, Enemies that will always be hostile to you are the fully robotic ones. So that means stalkers, um, sentinels, crusaders, reavers, and one other robotic enemy that we have not met yet. Templars are excluded because, remember, they are not fully robotic. They are a robot body that's being inhabited by a human body. So right now, the Templars are fine with you, as are the Acolytes. However, there's going to be one small issue... And that one small issue, or should I say one large issue, is right up there. A Crusader. Now, I could try to punch this guy to death. Keep my stealth up, but, um... Nah. It's nowhere, it, it's nowhere near as fun. Also, you're gonna, you're gonna go through a, uh, an alarm field anyway. So you might as well just go in guns a-blazing, know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Where'd you go, Crusader? Hey, I'm over here. Get your big robot ass over here, and come have some fun with me. Don't make me come after you. Oh, okay, that's how it is, huh? Come on, bring it on. I'll kick all your robot asses. Oh yeah, and if it wasn't obvious enough by now, the Mauler, which is the weapon that the Templars use, is a hitscan weapon. And up close it does some really big damage, so you want to be careful when messing with these guys. And there's a couple more Maulers inside those little, uh, huts up there. So, what I think I'll do... One of them is actually out of his hut. I think I'll charge that one. And then just finish him off with the Type 100 here. The other one, I might just use the Type 100 on entirely, because... He's pretty far away, so the Mauler can't do a whole lot of damage. Because remember, it's basically an energy shotgun. Which means it has a sp uh, pellet spread of sorts. And the further away you are from your target, the more the spread will affect how much damage is dealt, because it widens over distance. But, that's all the immediate hostilities taken care of. And let's go ahead and use this here med kit. Oh, and also, there's a ton of suits of armor <laughs> for you to pick up just past this here door, which, by the way is where the alarm field is, so even if you were able to maintain some semblance of stealth by punching that crusader to smithereens, yeah, ultimately it's pointless because you're going to have to trip an alarm anyway. Um, so let's do that, shall we? The remaining 27 enemies are all in here. Let's go have some fun with them. Go so start on the left side, since you have more cover over here. The enemies can't flank you from over here. And then before we go... Actually, can I see that guy? Yes, I can. Before we go to the other side, look through this window. Be very, very careful if you're going to use the grenade launcher like I'm about to. Because there is a... Templar in there. And the last thing you want is for that grenade launcher to, uh, <laughs> turn its back on you, which it can very easily do. Hit the switch in the middle to raise up a platform which allows you to head to that area. Now that door leads to the next hub area of sorts, and it will be the second map in this video that we explore. Yes, this is going to be a two-for-one special, and you spend enough time in this other map that I decided to put it in the title of the video as well, as well as mention it in the intro. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's another hub area, and it's a place where you can maintain, not really, I mean, I guess you could say stealth, but more like camouflage, because, well, you'll find out. 
we are about to be there. And by the way, those whirring noises you hear, those Templar noises, they are currently inside of a monster closet right around here. They will not spawn in until you grab a very important key item. <clears throat> and once you do, we'll just grenade him to death. But for now... Let us just take all these guys off one by one. No stone left unturned and no acolyte left alive. I'm sorry, my dudes. If you're servants of the Order, you must go. So we should have 95 out of 97 kills. The bishop is going to be heavily guarded, so why don't we swipe a uniform and blend in? That's what that is over there. A guard uniform. That is what you will use to infiltrate the next hub and maintain stealth, or camouflage, I guess. And what will also cause the two Templars in the monster closet to spawn in. And be very careful that you're not standing in this middle section of the room by the time they do, because that's where they spawn in, and they can telefrag you, which is a very, very unfortunate thing to have happen. But anyway, I was about to say, we should have 95 out of 97 kills <clears throat> before those Templars spawn in. They'll be the last two monsters, or last two kills of this map. Wow, he landed on the other side of that wall. That rocket pushed him good. Let's just go find him. Oh, stalker. Goodbye. Alright, and I think the other two enemies out here should both be acolytes. Yep. Excellent. Good, good. We are getting a tad low on rifle ammo. I, I can see that. But there's plenty of mags to pick up if you want to do a little bit of platforming. Which, uh, screw it. I'll go ahead and do and hopefully not mess up. Go ahead and jump on these little, uh, whatever the hell they are. I think I already grabbed his, because his fell in the water. Whoop. Just jump inside here. Now, the, remember, the Templars will not spawn in until you grab that, um, uniform. And this order key, I believe, is what opens this door right here, the armory. And look what we got in here. Oh. My. Goodness. Yeah. I like a little bit of privacy for this, please. A grenade launcher, a mini missile launcher, an ammo satchel, two suits of metal armor, three boxes of bullets, two assault guns, two bundles of phosphor grenades, and three bundles of high explosive grenades, an energy pack, two racks of mini missiles, two crates of mini missiles. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, just, just, just give me, just give me all of it. All your stuff are belong to me now. And anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and take out some nasty Templars. I'm just going to, uh, hide over here, I guess. You want to be careful, because I think they can fit around that corner, and they can flank you if you're not careful. Whoop. If I had at least one more boost to my stamina, I could just try punching him, but... Oh, yep. Come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. I'm always worried they're going <laughs> to telefrag me or pin me and then just freaking mauler me to death. But yes, look at this lovely stash here. So that one guard in there at the computer terminal drops the order key, which unlocks that armory. And once we grab the guard uniform, which is right here... Uh, you don't activate it, by the way. This thing is just passively active for basically the rest of the game. Um, now that being said, it's only going to be useful for a couple of maps, and then it's basically like it doesn't even exist, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Oh, and you know what? I got more mags I gotta collect. I want every bit of rifle ammo I can get, please. So I will right. kindly take that magazine. Oh, uh-huh, I spy a magazine. It may look like a piece of gold that the Acolytes threw into the water when making a wish. But nope, it is the top round inside of a magazine. And that, of course, means that I want it, I need it, and I gotta have it. I think I collected all theirs. And then there's the two more over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't really think I need to scrounge for ammo over uh, in this area, really, because there's a good bit in the next map as well. Um, matter of fact, there's quite a decent bit, but 
I think, uh, let me check the secrets real fast. Was there any bullet ammo in there? I'm pretty sure there was. Matter of fact, I think it was even a box of bullets. I know there's the energy pack. Okay, no, no, just that. What about the non-secret stash inside the little cavernous area here? Is there any bullets up here? Eh, if there were, I already picked them up. That's okay. No big deal. No big deal, I says. No big deal. Oh, well, I got a magazine there. Um, but, 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 what about inside here? Nothing else. Okay. Didn't think so. That is A-OK. -okay. We'll find more in the next map. And I'm going to go ahead and get out my stealth weapon here. Actually, I'll get the punch dagger. We're going to be using it a little bit. Because I do not want to break my stealth. We have the uniform. We're going to put it to good use right about now. So once we go into this little rotunda here, to this next door, welcome to Fortress the Bailey. Ooh. Hello there, Mr. Red Armored Guard. Here, I'm in a hurry. Okay, if you say so. But yeah, so in case, uh, for those of you who don't know, a Bailey is basically a... There's like an outer and an inner, or an upper and a lower. The Bailey is basically like a a courtyard area of a fortress. I just got word that we have an informer inside the fortress. We have to head for what they call the hospital. He works there. It's basically like an outside area that can contain things like, you know, stores, medical areas, maybe some ammo storage, just things like that. It was used a lot in, like, medieval castles. So, yeah, we're, we are in the Bailey. And within the Bailey is the entrance to actually technically like four maps. So one of them is right here. That's actually the next uh, map that we have to go to. There's an optional one just that way, which we will be tackling because that's where the Mauler weapon is located. The boss map is actually beyond that force field up there. And then there is another level beyond the security complex over here. The security complex actually feeds into one additional map. And then also up in this area here, you can only unlock it from the other side. But this little door right here, or this piece of wall, is actually a door that leads to a transition to a map in a future hub. Yeah, there's a lot of interconnectedness here. Um, but anywho, before we go talk to the person in the hospital, let's open some non-secrets, shall we? So the first one, I think it's the one on this side. You have to approach it from this this section of wall right here. This is the one on the... So it's the left side uh, tower, I guess. And you approach it from, what would this be, the west? And the door will automatically lower for you. And then if you go into the teleporter, it takes you to this upper piece of wall out here. With a couple of mags and some med patches, three of them to be specific. And a suit of leather armor if you need it, which I do not, so I will not grab it. And let's see. Uh, there is that tower right there, obelisk tower, whatever. Um, you have to actually teleport inside that, and that is the secret area of this map. So let's go ahead and go for that now. And to do that, we have to basically go behind the building that we were just at. And I don't know if it's even possible to get those racks of mini-missiles up there. Can you get up there? Maybe you have to, like... Maybe you have to, like, trip the alarm to get up there. I am not sure. I might actually... I might actually no-clip up there and see if it's possible. I think I've noticed those before, but never actually tried to go up there and get them. Not that I need them, but still. Anyway. So... On either side, left or right, go behind this structure that we just teleported to. Where these metal pipes are. These very, very cubic-shaped metal pipes. And into this here ventilation duct. There are stalkers in here, so be careful. But we have a pretty beefed-up punch dagger, so I'm going to put that to good use. We punch, and we stab, and we punch, and where do you think you're going? Hey, get your spidery ass back here. There we go. Now, there's only going to be two more enemies that you kill on this map, and they're both going to be Sentinels, and they're actually inside that area that leads to the optional level. But for now, go inside this room here, turn the valve to lower the water, 
Go where the water lowers. There's another suit of metal armor right there. And then teleport. Bam. Inside that obelisk. Or tower, or whatever. For a suit of shadow armor, a field surgery kit, a box of bullets, two boxes of 50 gold, energy pack, and a bundle of high explosive grenades. Mmm. And I believe this door does not close. So you should be able to go back in here whenever you need to for resupplying purposes. So that takes care of the secret. But I will be curious about those mini missiles. It must be another non secret. Um, anyway, um, the last stop you will make before going to visit the informant is inside this tower here, which is just to the, well, left if you're facing that way, of the uh, place that we came from where we started. Go up the stairs here. We're going to go inside the right door, because in here, look at that, yet another suit of metal armor and two boxes of bullets. I'm actually going to leave that there. I don't want to squander any. Nope. And then if you go up this elevator here, we're going to run into a, for the moment anyway, non-hostile Templar. Power is the path to glory. To follow the order is to walk that path. Okay, freak. Um, and there's actually, a, behind this metal tower here, is actually a teleporter um, that you have to teleport to from the other side. And the teleporter on the other side is actually inside the tower, or the area, that contains the entrance to the optional level, just over there. But anywho, let us now talk to the informant, shall we? Go into the hospital here. And before we talk to him, he's that lovely gentleman in the white apron. There's actually another non-secret, which I think should be a secret. You see these items that you can't quite reach because crouching is not allowed? I mean, I can because I'm playing GZ Doom, but I'm not going to. You can't squeeze your way through the window unless you cheat by crouching. But just go up the stairs and use the left wall just, sh uh, just shy of the final step. And there you go. Three med kits. A field surgery kit, another suit of metal armor, an ammo satchel, and four racks of mini missiles. Whew. Goodness me, this place is freaking loaded. And then up here, there's nothing. Yeah. Alright, well, we had our fun. Let us talk to this informant. Privacy, please. Oh, what a healthy specimen. You don't need my help, do you? Well, yes. Maisel sent me. Shh, keep it quiet, unless you want us both killed. Now, what can I do for you? Tell me how to find the bishop. Oh, I knew you would ask me for that. Look behind you. That's the entrance to the bishop's citadel. It's guarded by a force field that is only shut off for official visitors, not you. I must kill the bishop. Oh, sure you do. First... Fight your way into the security complex and use a teleporter. And this might be more to your liking. Destroy the computer in central administration. No computer, no force field. Judging by recent history, I guess stealth is out. Sure sounds like it. Great, that sounds easy. Uh, there's an advantage to destroying the computer. That's where the plans to the tower are kept. Can you say five-finger discount? <laughs> Anything else? Oh, well, word has it that the Bailey's warehouse received a shipment of maulers. That's the weapon that vaporizes. Mm, no fuss, no muss, nothing for Mom to clean up. Get me one, please. I know Blackbird would love one of those. Is that it now? Don't you know the meaning of the words, get lost? I sure do. All right, so that's all of our information. So, where we have to go next is the security complex, because that map is the one that feeds into administration, where that central computer is located. Um, the, thing with, uh, the thing which, when destroyed, will disable all the force fields. But, of course, we have to take a fun little optional trip first. And in order to do that, we have to disable the force fields blocking these doors, which, fortunately, you can very easily do from right here. Bam. And since you have a guard uniform on, these acolytes are none the wiser. Now in here, I actually want to go this way, I believe it is, first. Yes. Go ahead and summon down one of these sentinels. Go ahead and punch him out. And then the second and final sentinel is going to be up here, which leads to the entrance to the optional level, which is called Fortress Stores. But go inside this door here, chase this sentinel back here, and punch him out. And then through this teleporter, is right up here in this tower where the Templar is. Pretty nifty, eh? And well, that's it for now.
We have officially reached the end of the hostel section of the Bailey. I'm not going to. I'm not real. I'm not going to, you know, engage in a fight with everyone here. I mean, I guess I could at the very end of everything, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I never really had before. I don't know if it really makes any difference. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I might leave this place alone. It is just a hub to a bunch of other maps. Anywho, let us now go to the warehouse. Now, it's not actually called that in terms of the in-game map. It's called Fortress Stores, like I said. But, either way, we're headed there. And once again, I say privacy, please. And that is where things will end for right now. So, we've cleared out the rest of the Borderlands. We have infiltrated the Fortress's Bailey. And now we are here in the stores, the warehouse, to fetch us this awesome vaporizing weapon that the Templars love using, the Mauler. And oh boy, <laughs> you'll see just why that weapon is so awesome when we get it. That is the ultimate goal of this optional level, is simply to find the Mauler. There's also a bit of a... Um, a secret treasury you can find as well, so we'll be looking for that also. And, yeah, so we have our ultimate goal, aside from getting the mauler. That is to infiltrate the security complex, take it all the way to administration, and destroy the central computer, which will disable all the force fields, and then take that all the way to, or go back to the bailey, and then take that all the way to where the bishop is located. The bishop's keep. Whatever it's called, like, I forget exactly what his map is called. But, uh, yeah. And you, you may have noticed that the map numbers are kind of jumping all around here. Um, so, Borderlands is map 11. Temple of the Oracle is map 12. So you think, okay, well, maybe Fortress Bailey is map 13. And Fortress uh, Stores is map 14. Nah, not quite. The Fortress's map numbers are a little strange. So the Bailey is 17. And Stores is 18. I don't know why it jumps around like that. It's really strange. I think this is the only section of the game where it's that jumpy. I think it kind of smoothens itself out after the you know fortress maps are done. But um, that's really the only weird thing about it. The numbers are kind of helter-skelter. But anyway, for right now, that was Borderlands Part 2 as well as the Bailey, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. I uh, hope everyone has an awesome rest of their day. I will probably do some testing at some point um, to see exactly... How to get those mini missiles? I might, you know, just kind of putz about off off recording and just no clip up there and see if there's like a teleporter or something that I'm missing. I want to say I've gotten up there before, but it's been a while if I have. So I will test out for that as well. And if I find out how to do it, I will show that off on camera as well or on recording rather. But anywho, that's it for right now. I'm out of here. You guys take it easy. Stay safe. Tell someone you love them. All that good stuff. I will see you all next time when we tackle the stores area of the fortress and get us that nice nifty new mauler and vaporize all kinds of nasties with it. But until next time, bye-bye and get out of my house.